Police are trying to tackle the rapidly escalating violent crime among Venezuelan gang members in the city who have gotten into New York. So this is one of the NYPD's biggest challenges right now. Now, the NYPD expects the uh, migrant Ven Venezuelan gang crimes to actually get worse in this city before it gets better. New York City is busy and exciting. People from all over the world come to live and chase their dreams here. It's a tough city, but New Yorkers are known for being strong and sticking together through hard times. Recently, though, a new problem has shown up in the city. The brutal Venezuelan gang called El Tren de Aragua. El Tren de Aragua ha dejado una trágica historia delictiva en América Latina y ahora parece tener toda la intención de infiltrarse. These guys are no joke. Tije started out in the prisons of Venezuela, and now they are spreading throughout Latin America and the U.S. New York is under threat as the gang's violence only increases. This gang is known for glorifying violence and abusing vulnerable people. A lot of the people they target are immigrants from Venezuela who came to New York to escape the problems back home. The NYPD is working really hard to stop El Tren de Aragua. As of 2024, they're declaring success. We're having success. We're taking down networks of individuals. We're up to the task and we'll accomplish it. But at what cost is this war coming? Are innocent immigrants getting killed in the process? And can the NYPD really curb the spread of an increasingly powerful gang that is terrorizing the entire Western Hemisphere? Let's find out. The Tren de Aragua, a notorious criminal gang from Venezuela, has been making headlines in New York City. Waving guns and flashing gang signs on this video. The NYPD says these are suspected members of the ruthless Venezuelan gang Tren de Aragua, which has been infiltrating the U.S. for the last two years. Known for their extreme violence and diverse range of criminal activities, they have managed to extend their influence far beyond their home country. This gang, originally formed in Venezuela's Tren de Aragua prison, has evolved into a significant transnational criminal organization. At the moment, it's one of the fastest growing gangs in the world. Their operations include extortion, murder, kidnapping, human trafficking, arms smuggling, and drug trafficking. The rise of this gang in New York City presents a daunting challenge for local law enforcement. Over the past two years, members of the Tren de Aragua have been infiltrating the United States, often entering through the southern border amid the larger influx of migrants. Once in the country, they quickly establish themselves in urban areas, leveraging their violent reputation to dominate local criminal markets. Estos presuntos migrantes venezolanos están libres tras atacar a dos policías en Nueva York. The NYPD has observed a sharp increase in crimes linked to these gang members, from petty thefts like shoplifting and stealing cell phones to violent street shootouts. The transition from minor crimes to severe violence highlights the gang's growing boldness and determination to expand its control. The exploitation of Venezuelan migrants is a critical component of the Tren de Aragua's strategy. Many migrants, desperate to escape Venezuela's economic collapse, fall prey to the gang's coercive tactics. The gang forces them into criminal activities, exploiting their vulnerable status and lack of resources. This exploitation not only aids the gang's expansion, but also increases the risks for the migrants, who face violence and severe legal consequences if caught. The NYPD has reported incidents where gang members have smuggled firearms into city shelters, hidden in food delivery packages, thus bypassing security measures. What we do see is they are trying to grow. The NYPD faces immense pressure in dealing with this rising threat. The complexity of the gang's operations, combined with their ruthless methods, makes it difficult for law enforcement to dismantle their networks effectively. It's a race against time. The more Tren de Aragua spreads, the harder it will be for the NYPD to destroy them. The police have been working tirelessly to track and arrest suspected members, but the gang's resilience and ability to quickly replace arrested members pose significant challenges. NYPD officials have warned that the situation may worsen before it improves, emphasizing the need for comprehensive and sustained efforts to combat this menace. This is one of the NYPD's biggest challenges right now. Now, the NYPD expects the uh, migrant Ve Venezuelan gang crimes to actually get worse in this city before it gets better. 
The rise of trendy Aragua in New York City is not just a local issue, but part of a broader pattern of international gang violence. The gang's presence in the city underscores the interconnected nature of modern criminal enterprises and the need for coordinated responses from law enforcement agencies across different jurisdictions. The NYPD's efforts to curb the gang's influence are critical in ensuring the safety and security of New Yorkers. However, the fight against Tren de Ragua is far from over and the city must remain vigilant in its ongoing battle against this dangerous organization. El tren de Aragua ha dejado una trágica historia delictiva en América Latina y ahora parece tener toda la intención de infiltrarse. The infiltration of Tren de Aragua into the United States is a testament to their adaptability and strategic planning. Initially, the gang's activities in New York City were relatively low profile, involving minor crimes like shoplifting and theft. However, as their numbers grew, so did their ambitions. The gang began to engage in more serious crimes, including armed robberies, drug trafficking, and violent confrontations with rival groups and law enforcement. This escalation has had a profound impact on the city's crime landscape. One of the most concerning aspects of Trendy Aragua's expansion is its ability to smuggle weapons and other contraband into the city. This not only highlights the gang's resourcefulness, but also exposes gaps in the city's security infrastructure. The presence of such dangerous weapons in the hands of violent criminals poses a significant threat to public safety. Human trafficking is another critical component of the gang's operations. Tren de Aragua has established extensive networks to exploit vulnerable migrants, many of whom are fleeing economic hardship and political instability in Venezuela. These individuals often have no choice but to comply with the gang's demands, becoming unwilling participants in criminal activities. The exploitation of these migrants extends beyond forced labor and into the realm of sex trafficking, where women and children are particularly vulnerable. The NYPD is working closely with federal agencies to dismantle these trafficking networks and protect the victims. But here's the issue. Tren de Aragua is also working to remove as many officers as possible. When a Tren de Aragua member named Raul de Mata was arrested, he decided to become an informant for the detectives in exchange for a lighter sentence. Thanks to Mata, the NYPD now knows that Tren de Aragua members are instructed to fire at any officer of the law they see. It's a killing spree, Aragua bosses know. If they want to expand their business, people on the good side of the law must go. Estos presuntos migrantes venezolanos están libres tras atacar a dos policías en Nueva York, lo que se suma a una ola de violencia que está sacudiendo al gigante del norte. Mata himself fired at two officers after they stopped him for driving his motorcycle the wrong way through New York. We're just starting to see a drug called Tusi, which is a pink type substance. It seems like this is a huge challenge. It's as big of the challenges we faced. And the NYPD is far from the only agency struggling with Tren de Aragua right now. The gang's influence extends beyond New York City, with evidence of their presence in other major urban centers across the United States. The FBI has been monitoring their activities closely, recognizing the potential threat they pose on a national scale. Collaborative efforts between local and federal law enforcement agencies have led to several high-profile arrests, but the gang's decentralized structure makes it difficult to achieve lasting results. Each arrest is a victory, but it often feels like a temporary setback for a gang that is adept at regrouping and adapting. Edwin Camejo, 27 años, detenido en Chicago. Jurgen Salazar, 23 años. The expansion of Tren de Aragua into the United States also highlights the complex relationship between immigration and crime. While the majority of migrants seek a better life and contribute positively to their communities, the presence of criminal elements among them complicates public perception and policy responses. It is crucial to address the root causes of migration, such as economic instability and violence in home countries, while also implementing effective law enforcement strategies to combat gangs like Tren de Aragua. Balancing these objectives is essential for maintaining public safety without unfairly stigmatizing the migrant community. 
Tren de Aragua emerged from chaos, violence, and poverty in Venezuela. Venezuela is a country that has been afflicted by political instability and economic turmoil for a long time. Amidst this chaos, the gang emerged and established a notorious reputation in the criminal underworld. The gang's name is derived from a prison in Venezuela called the Tren de Aragua prison, which is known for its lawlessness and violent inmates. The gang's formation was not a sudden event, but rather a gradual and menacing growth that fed off the instability in their homeland. Initially, the gang was involved in petty crimes, but they quickly escalated to more serious and violent activities. They became known for their brutality and involvement in a wide range of criminal pursuits, including robberies, drug trafficking, and human smuggling. The gang's operations were not limited to a single city or state within Venezuela. Instead, they spread like a disease throughout Latin America, with their influence permeating the criminal underbelly of various countries in the region. Tras el desmantelamiento de la cárcel de Tocorón en Venezuela a finales del 2023, las alertas reventaron en América Latina ante la posibilidad de que muchos de sus miembros, incluido su líder, el temido Niño Guerrero, con alerta roja internacional, emprendieran huida por todo el continente. Once again, the gang used chaos as a weapon, dodging justice to escape to other parts of America, including the U.S. With a clean start, you would think they would stay out of trouble, but these guys did quite the opposite. Nos venimos a enterar por primera vez cuando se emite una segunda alerta roja contra Héctor Guerrero Flores después de la intervención al internado judicial de Tocorón y en esa alerta roja se decía que los países donde posiblemente Héctor Guerrero estaba, además de Venezuela, eran Colombia, Ecuador, Perú, Chile y Estados Unidos. El Niño Guerrero is looking for fresh territory to conquer and expand his blood empire. The Tren de Aragua gang's rise to power was fueled by their violent methods and ruthless tactics, which allowed them to dominate the criminal landscape and become a formidable force. As they expanded, their criminal activities also evolved, becoming more complex and dangerous. From their beginnings in Venezuela, the Tren de Aragua gang transformed into a transnational criminal organization, with their reach extending far beyond their country of origin. They infiltrated communities across Latin America, leaving a trail of violence and crime in their wake. Tren de Aragua took advantage of Venezuela's instability to establish itself as a powerful and feared criminal entity. From its roots in a notorious Venezuelan prison, the gang grew in both reach and sophistication, becoming a transnational threat that continues to pose significant challenges to law enforcement and society as a whole. As of 2024, NYPD's efforts to tackle El Tren de Aragua include increased surveillance, undercover operations, and community outreach programs aimed at gathering intelligence and building trust with local residents. The goal is to disrupt the gang's operations at every level and prevent them from gaining a stronger foothold in the city. Undercover operations have been particularly effective in gathering crucial intelligence about the gang's activities. These operations involve of plainclothes officers infiltrating the gang's networks to gain first-hand knowledge of their plans and methods. This intelligence is then used to coordinate arrests and prevent criminal activities before they occur. While these operations are risky and require significant resources, they have yielded important results in the fight against Tren de Aragua. The information gathered through these efforts has led to the seizure of weapons, drugs, and other contraband as well as the arrest of key gang members. We're having success. We're taking down networks of individuals. We're up to the task and we'll accomplish it. Community engagement is another vital component of the NYPD strategy. Building trust with local residents is essential for effective policing, especially in neighborhoods where fear of gang retaliation can deter people from cooperating with law enforcement. The NYPD has been working to strengthen relationships with community leaders and organizations, encouraging them to report suspicious activities and support police efforts. These partnerships are crucial for gathering intelligence and providing support to victims of gang violence and exploitation. Despite these efforts, the fight against Tren de Aragua is far from straightforward. The gang's decentralized structure and ability to quickly adapt to changing circumstances make it a formidable adversary. Additionally, the influx of new migrants provides a continuous pool of potential recruits for the gang. 
Addressing this issue requires not only robust law enforcement tactics, but also comprehensive immigration policies that provide support and protection for vulnerable migrants. Ensuring that migrants have access to legal resources, employment opportunities, and social services can reduce their susceptibility to gang recruitment and exploitation. The NYPD's efforts are part of a broader, nationwide response to the threat posed by Trendy Aragua. Federal agencies, including the FBI and Homeland Security, are collaborating with local law enforcement to share intelligence and coordinate operations. This multi-agency approach is essential for addressing the gang's transnational activities and preventing them from exploiting jurisdictional boundaries. By working together, law enforcement agencies aim to dismantle the gang's networks and protect communities across the United States from their violent and exploitative practices. Una fallida lucha contra el crimen organizado en América Latina, inclusive endógenas de la propia América. The presence of Trende Aragua in New York City has had a profound impact on local communities. The gang's violent activities and ruthless tactics have instilled fear and uncertainty among residents, particularly in neighborhoods with high concentrations of migrants. The increase in crime, from armed robberies to street shootouts, has disrupted daily life and heightened tensions within these communities. For many residents, the presence of such a violent gang represents a constant threat to their safety and well-being. ¿Cuántos de sus miembros estarían allí? Puede ser que sea parte de una pandilla muy peligrosa venezolana. The exploitation of Venezuelan migrants by Trende Aragua is a particularly troubling aspect of their operations. Many of these migrants have fled their home country in search of safety and economic opportunities, only to find themselves ensnared in the gang's criminal networks. The gang preys on their vulnerabilities, forcing them into illegal activities and subjecting them to severe abuse. Many migrants end up feeling trapped and powerless, and in situations worse than death, they fear their everyday lives thanks to Trendy Aragua, and they fear what would happen if they would try to escape this life. It's tragic how criminal organizations grow by exploiting young, vulnerable people. Children and teens are manipulated into joining cartels and gangs, being falsely promised quick money, respect, and security. And desperate families seeking to escape harsh situations at home are coerced into unthinkable scenarios, working the streets for ruthless gang members who think nothing of taking their lives if they say no. Local businesses have also felt the impact of Trende Aragua's presence. The gang's extortion rackets target small business owners, demanding protection money and threatening violence if payments are not made. This not only places a financial burden on businesses, but also creates an environment of fear and instability. Business owners are forced to navigate a precarious balance between complying with the gang's demands and maintaining their operations. The NYPD has been working to support these businesses, offering protection and encouraging them to report extortion attempts. Community organizations and leaders have been instrumental in addressing the challenges posed by Trende Aragua. These groups provide essential support to residents, offering resources and assistance to those affected by gang violence and exploitation. They also play a crucial role in raising awareness about the gang's activities and advocating for stronger protections for vulnerable migrants. By fostering a sense of solidarity and resilience, these organizations help empower communities to stand up against the gang's influence. The broader social and economic implications of Trend de Aragua's activities cannot be ignored. The gang's presence exacerbates existing issues within migrant communities, such as poverty, lack of access to health care, and limited employment opportunities. Addressing these underlying problems is crucial if the brutal gang is to go. Policymakers must consider new approaches that combine law enforcement efforts with social and economic support for affected communities. The NYPD has faced difficult challenges in the past and is determined to win this fight to keep New Yorkers safe. The fight against Trend de Aragua in New York City is ongoing, and the future presents several challenges for law enforcement and policymakers. The gang's ability to adapt and evolve means that strategies must be continuously updated and refined. There's a problem, though. Que si ingresaron a los Estados Unidos, lo hicieron camuflados como migrantes y cruzando la peligrosa selva del Darién, 
hasta asentarse en ciudades principales con numerosa comunidad de habla hispana como Nueva York, Miami y Chicago. That's right. Trendy Aragua members come into the states dressed as migrants. As a result, the NYPD, Border Patrol, and virtually every law enforcement agency in the U.S. is now raining hell on every Venezuelan migrant. This is unfair in a large number of ways. El Tren de Aragua abuses poor migrants and desperate people in every way imaginable. To them, these people are fodder. And yet, the U.S. authorities must keep fighting them by being more thorough with the people who attempt to cross the border. Yo creo que también hay una dimensión política porque ese fenómeno es otra dificultad cuando uno tiene libremente más de tres. The battle against Tren de Aragua is far from over, but with sustained efforts and a collaborative approach, New York City and the U.S. can make significant strides in curbing the gang's influence and protecting its residents from harm. La necesidad de resolver la seguridad en la frontera y um, nuestra política migratoria para disuadir tantas personas de, de venir acá. It's a long battle that will cost the lives and freedoms of many. But as we're seeing in El Salvador today, it takes a very firm hand to end gang violence. Let's just hope that the havoc wrecked by El Tren de Aragua will soon come to an end. Hey, thanks a bunch for watching. What are your thoughts on the current situation in New York City? Do you know similar stories about other Latin American gangs? Let me know in a comment. And before you go, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. All right, see you soon. Stay safe.